guys and welcome to till vacuum do us part just so you know i'm like midway through an itch to switch if you're new here and you're asking what's an itch to switch <laughs> so basically all the people been around anytime at all know this but if you're new here today basically i love change i love switching things around and it just like happens it happens early in the morning and late at night and so we call it the itch to switch and i'll say oh my gosh guys i'm getting itchy <laughs> we know it's coming so basically i started ripping things out i've been trying to decide what i want to do so let me take you around the house just so you can see where things are and then we'll start putting things where they belong or where I'm wanting to put them. I even have one new piece that I'm excited to share with you. So let me turn this camera around. Okay, so here is my laundry room. As you can see, I've taken the gold mirror down. So originally that was in my entryway and I moved it in here, but I really missed it over there. I loved that pop of gold. So I took it back down. So basically this room isn't going to be complete today. It's going to be an upcoming video because my dad is currently making me a little bench seat for this, an upholstered one, and he is creating a video on it on his channel. So if you want to see how he does it, so basically this will all be in an upcoming video, but that's how it's looking so far. Okay, so here is how my entryway is right now. There's the gold mirror that keeps getting put around at different places. Now I had hung this one, this was the most recent thing, above this table. So that's what you guys saw here last, but I just felt like it was a little bit too big and I didn't love all the silver. I loved the soft edges of the gold plus the pop of gold with it. <laughs> so we're gonna hang that back up. I already put that screw in because we had the hole there originally. And then off camera before I picked it up, I've actually been filling those holes from the larger mirror so that's all done. I just need to hang that. And then I'm gonna redecorate this area down here because I actually wanna use these somewhere else that will be coming up here in a little bit. Okay, so I like to keep something underneath this table to hide cords. I have them like taped down, but I still just do not like outlets. And I have this taped here, so I can't move it. I've had these pieces here, but I need them somewhere else. So I'm gonna work with some pillows and a basket and a throw and see if I can come up with something to cover that.
So now we're gonna move into my office area. And as you can see, I've taken the old prints down. I do wanna thank Five for sponsoring this part of today's video. So I had some artwork I brought over from the previous house, but it just wasn't working in this area. <laughs> so they reached out and I was so happy to partner up with them. Right here, you can see the three um, pieces of art I chose. What I love about them is they already come framed. You don't have to do anything but unwrap them from the box. That made it so simple. When I have to put things in frames, they just never look right. So I was so impressed when I pulled it out of the box. And they have over 40,000 prints to choose from. Plus, I got to customize that one in the middle. I got to do till vacuum do his part, which was super cool. Plus, they have over 40,000 prints to choose from. And what's really neat, when you're shopping with them, you're shopping small, because five feature hundreds of independent like artists and small businesses from across the globe. They also offer free shipping worldwide. That's always one of the biggest questions I get asked when I'm working on a sponsorship. I always get, do they ship to, and then a fill in the blank. So they will ship to you. Um, they also sell like throws, cushions, furniture, phone cases, rugs, accessories, all sorts of fun stuff. So definitely check them out. I'm gonna leave the link down below in my description box. The code is built into that link. So they are offering you guys 25% off your order. So there's no code. If you wanna get that 25% off, you have to use the link down below in that description box. So don't forget to click on it. I also wanted to share with you that you you get to customize these however you like like I chose really large frames because this wall is so tall and grand but if you're needing smaller areas Savannah got a beautiful one for her bathroom you can choose the frame size the color of it you guys know me I just like things super clean so I went with the white frame in this case I feel like I could use some of these prints in different areas um, I do love the Till Vacuum Do Us part. That was one, it's already customized. You just put in the text you want. And I love that it had the little heart at the bottom. They just pay attention to details. I will say their site was super user friendly. So I had no issues finding the ones I wanted. You guys are gonna be able to see a clip right here of how it turned out. I think they are stunning. I love when websites start giving you suggestions. Like if you like this one, you might like that one. That's kind of what helps like narrow it down for me so anyways you'll have to let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section but I'm in love with them the size is just so much better so don't forget to click on that link down below and save yourself 25% off any of the prints or anything you need but now I'm gonna start cleaning the shelf over here I love this shelf I'm not one to have like bookshelves in my house or a lot of stuff um, because I don't like cleaning it <laughs> and I actually haven't since I put all of this up here so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this dusted so this whole room is like nice and clean I've been getting a lot of questions of like do you dust a lot I think I referenced this in a couple videos ago I really don't but I've been trying to be better because it's not that bad like I don't have that many areas I need to dust this is probably the main area that has a lot of items on it that I have to remove and it's still not a ton um, so it's something it's just getting the motivation to get going and then it doesn't take much effort um, so I am trying to be better just about dusting and it does it feels so much better it looks so much better and there's no like you know fingerprints running across it from Savannah running by touching it. <laughs> How would he understand if I told him how I feel about him?
After I'm done, or let me word that better, after Chase is done hanging something on the wall, whether it's artwork or photos, whatever, I like to go ahead and get my glass cleaner and just wipe it down because there's fingerprints from him like holding it and touching it to put it up there. And I feel like it just takes two seconds to clean those off and then your new artwork is just beautiful. There's nothing blocking it. These will stay clean for a long time because nobody can really reach them like kid-wise. And then I had that bottle out, so I thought I might as well do this mirror right here. Um, but as you guys can see right here, they are just stunning and I feel like they fit the room so much better. Okay, so here is the final look. I absolutely love this artwork up here now. Like it just looks so much nicer. I love that I was able to like customize this. What's nice is that font was already like that with the heart. I just had to type in what I wanted. So I did till back into his part, but absolutely love it. I love how this office is coming together. It's taken me a little bit of work, but it's looking really good. And then if I take you over here, I had been wanting to dust these for a while, but it seems so hard to get started just because you have to move so much. That's typically why I don't keep a lot of things, but since this is my only shelf in the house, I think I can handle it. And then over here, there I am. <laughs> I love this space. I know you guys don't, a lot of you don't love the gold mirror, but I love it. Somebody mentioned lowering it, so I may have to eventually do that, but it already had the hole there from before. So that's how it's staying for now. Okay, so here is how the living room looks currently. If you guys remember, I had the like hexagon white marble coffee table here that I have a whole video redoing it if you wanna check it out. But to me, it was just too white. Like <laughs> My kitchen's super white. But if you notice in here, it's cream. So it was just like screaming white to me. So I was on Facebook Marketplace and I finally found a really good deal. So I'm gonna vacuum this first. I like to vacuum anytime the furniture's off of it. Um, so I'm gonna vacuum this rug and then we'll pull in the coffee table and then I'll start kind of like tweaking this room a little bit. Okay, so here's look one. I'm loving this guy. Definitely always check like resale sites. You can find some beautiful pieces. So I still need to decorate that, but I wanted to show you kind of look one. If I were to keep this set up the same, I have it like this. I have a lamp over here, but I've been dying to change up the arrangement a little bit. So I'm gonna do that real quickly. This lamp that I'm bringing in is actually the one from our guest bedroom and it was over the chair just like this one and I love that setup back there but more people see obviously the setup here in our living room so I thought I would try it in this little nook. What's nice is I have it plugged into that little box and it has remotes. So I can turn on the living room light from in bed. I gave Savannah one so she can turn on the light if she wants to come into the kitchen and already have a light on. Plus I can control it from my phone. So if we leave the boys and it gets dark here and I forgot to leave a light on for them, now it's in the living room so they can have a little light in there and you can adjust like how bright or dim it is. So 
just thought I'd share that. I think it's gonna work so much better just being in the living room versus like in the corner of our bedroom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fluff the pillows. As you guys can see, the coffee table right here. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, you already saw it. You guys saw a sneak peek of it the day we got it. I was so excited. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get it decorated and you guys haven't seen that part yet. Here is the second look so far and I'm really liking the look of like the chair and lamp right here but I have one more little thing I want to tweak to see if I like it best. Oh. Okay, and here's look three. I definitely think it's my favorite. So everything stayed the same, except I added like two ottomans here, which is nice, because like people can put their feet on them. You can drag them over here for your feet or for a drink. You could pull it over by the fireplace if you want the fire on. But it's amazing what some rearranging and a new coffee table can do. So you'll have to let me know down below in the comments section which one is your favorite, one, two, or three. Okay, the next area I want to work on is this is like the hallway into our guest bedroom right there. And we've hung some photos there before, but during the last <laughs> inch to switch, they got moved to my entryway and they're on a wall over there. But we have this gold mirror right here. I think we're going to hang it up kind of right here in the center and see how that looks. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless Okay, just so you can kind of see everything from the beginning, here is how the entryway table turned out. I kind of like the basket over here better, but it doesn't hide the cords as well. So I flip-flopped that. And then these were the photos I was talking about earlier that used to be in that hallway, but I kind of like when our guests come straight into the house. You can see like family portraits right there. And then here is how the living room is looking right now. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this coffee table is massive. It is so big. And then over here in this little nook is where the gold frame is. So everything's looking so good so far. Okay, so this is a lamp I have left over now. It used to be in the living room in the corner where the chair is, but I did the light or the lamp that hangs over now. So this was actually originally in Chase's office anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back for him because... He kind of has a plain wall right there and it'll be the perfect spot for it.
So I am loving this table. I think it is just a tad bit too dark. I love the wood element. I don't want to paint it. I've been researching bleaching wood where it kind of lightens it. So I might be doing that in the future. You'll have to let me know if you've ever done it before and if you like it. I've been reading a lot of blogs about it. So that'll probably be an upcoming project. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, not because I want to or that the itches went away, but I have to take Savannah to dance class. <laughs> so thanks again to Phi for sponsoring today's video. Um, I'm gonna have their link and coupon code down below in the description box, so definitely check that out. I'm super impressed with their quality and their prints and their style, so definitely check them out. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. If you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And and if you've been with me forever, thank you so much. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.